So that's a guy I love right there. That's Paul Barton. One of the reasons I love that guy is he thinks a lot about audio. He's been for a long, long, long time. He thought a lot about audio. Um, Forty-six years. Forty-six years. Yeah. Well, the, the one I'm interested in right uh, right now is you've got a couple of uh, ear canals, real cadaver ear canals that you're playing with up right. at the NRC. Tell well, us a little bit about that. Well, one of the problems with doing uh, measurements of headphones with the current equipment that's available is that it doesn't really do very good measurements above about 8 kilohertz. Right. So what we need to do is develop an ear coupler or a headphone measurement system that's capable of emulating the impedance of the eardrum. Right. But the only way to do that is to kind of do a survey of the actual eardrums. Right. I have the opportunity to get my hands on some scans of e eardrums out of human cadavers. And we have yeah. 14 of them, mm. you know, ranging from, I mean, some of them are really short and yeah. small. Yeah. And some of them are like large. And yeah. the diameters can vary dramatically. Yeah. So can the shape. Yeah. So we're in the process of doing a study of what effects that has on on a measurement system. We might even end up with measurement systems that allow us to manipulate those parameters in order to say, you know, this is the target function that we might need for a person with a, an ear, a longer ear canal. Right. Or, an, uh, uh, or try and get an average based on, on right. you know, try and find what the averages are. And we have 14 to work with. Right. I've already done an experiment with uh, the, uh, the left the left ear of a female, which is quite a small ear canal. That's the one we started with. Right. But I can't wait to try some of the larger ear canals. Right. And what we do is we make a 3D print of the, of the scan of the ear canal. Right. And we put it on a on a, a plate, and I put a, a a probe microphone, right. which is about a millimeter in diameter. Right. And I embed it. Capillary mic. And I, I embed it in the bottom of the ear canal, which is where the eardrum is, right. to try and see what the uh, response there is. Right. And then I can do a better calculation or EQ. I could, I could even EQ for individuals. Right. You know, uh, I, I don't know if you know much about it, but Jude and I had a little bit of a controversy because our measurements of the Sony um, headphone were substantially different, and were substantially different right around 10K. There was this okay. fairly large discrepancy between his measurements and mine. I wouldn't blame the I wouldn't blame the headphone in those cases because of the frequency that it's no occurring. right. I and, and, and well, my sense of it is is that my my head acoustics coupler has essentially a cylindrical ear canal, which likely is a high Q geometry. And he uses one of the new heads with the bent ear, with the bent ear canal, yeah. and, and, uh, which would seem likely to me to be a less high Q uh, device, but more like what a real uh, ear is. Well, so my, it's out, to me, I'm, I, I, I think that the jury's out. I, I wouldn't trust my measurements over his per, in per se. Well, let me say this, that uh, I'll tell you a little story. When I was designing uh, a series of products back in the mid-90s, uh, I, I was putting the, port, the two port tubes on the front of the loudspeaker, but I was getting a, a resonance in the port tube. And in order to get rid of that resonance, or at least get it out of the frequency range that it was resonating, if I put an elbow curve in the port tube, sure. then the resonant frequency would, would double. Right. So that some people's ear canals that are bent more than others, right. they're going to see a change in the resonance of the tube because of that because of the bend it, because of the bend in it yeah. so you know some people who's isn't quite as bent as others so I'm, what i'm saying is that you're probably getting a more realistic response if you put any kind of a bend in the ear mm. canal compared to being just a just cylinder just a cylinder yeah See, so this is some tricky stuff, and thank God, goodness, we got people like Paul here spending their time thinking about it and, and, and making these changes, I, and uh, yeah, well, so thanks, man. I appreciate okay. it. Oh, yeah. You're welcome. All right. Okay. We'll see you around. Yeah. Okay. Bye. See you guys.